The next set of events represents the collective ideas, energies, and work of all chapter members. The judges that review this work are looking for the chapter that best represents the heart and soul of the JAG Career Professional Association through their collective efforts. All right, let's get started. First, we'd like to recognize the winners of the pre-CDC judged events. The pre-judged event winners are highlighted in your luncheon program and will be used in JAG's promotional material throughout the year. Program cover design winners. Third place, Carla Moreno, JAG Works Tolleson. Second place goes to Jaylene Barre Ortiz from Coronado. Ready for this one? First place, America Sanchez Coronado and Zariah Ayers, Paradise Valley High School. Up next, the Upper Apparel Award. Third place, La Jolla High School. Second place, Compadre Academy. And first place goes to Sierra Linda High School. Fighting skills winners. Third place goes to, oh wait, it's a tie. Gabriela Rodriguez, Compadre Academy, and Lucas Chavez, Santa Cruz Valley Union High School. Second place, Ashley Alvarado, Coronado High School. And first place, rounding it up, goes to Soraya Agnew, Sierra Linda High School. And now for our chapter picture winners. Third place goes to Tolleson High School. Second place, here he comes, Sierra Linda High School. And first place, you know it, Paradise Valley High School. These young people and all the students who entered these events represent just a sampling of the incredible talent that we see in JAG programs every day. You should all be very proud of yourselves. Whatever your talent may be, continue to find ways to showcase it. Let's have another round of congratulations to all of our winners with wild applause. It's my pleasure to recognize the following young people who placed in the first annual Carolyn Warner Public Speaking Competition. Now, I can tell you firsthand, Carolyn Warner, she had a sense of presence. That when she walked into a room, she commanded attention. And that was because of her ability to speak so effectively, so effusively, in such a way that you would follow her anywhere, I guarantee you. And to have that name attached to this public speaking competition, we are all honored and served by her excellence in oratory skills. Families, please hold your applause until all names have been called. In Division II, underclass, the winners are, in third place, Colby Aguayo, Jagworks Tolleson. In second place, Eric Alfaro from Jagworks Tolleson. And in first place, Nyla Carviel, Jagworks Tolleson. In Division I, upper class, the winners are, in third place, Luis Mendez, Paradise Valley High School. In second place, Graciela Parada from Coronado High School. In first place, Shania Harrison, Paradise Valley High School. Please give a warm welcome to our great winner, Shania Harrison from Paradise Valley High School and enjoy this video. 2019 through 2020 public speaking competition. I'm Shania Harrison, a junior at Paradise Valley High School, JAG. There's no place like JAG a home away from home, or a home when you have no home. In JAG, there's no such thing as a mistake. It's called learning a lesson. We all come together as one, engulfing each other in smothering love, as if we all come from the same bloodline. Just like Dorothy, she had a tin man, a scarecrow, and a lion as a best friend. Every time I walk into JAG, I see different skin tones, different hair types, even the way we dress is different. But once conversation opens up, we all have the same goal, we all have the same worries, and we all have the same problems. But we come together as one and we crush them together. My classmates in JAG, wait, no, not classmates. My therapists, my best friends, even my second cousins, how I look at them as family. We've all taught each other life. Right now we may all be separated and we may not be able to be together, but our hearts and our minds are in the same place. And that's Jack. Jack has given me back 
the sense of freedom I've once had when I was five. You know when you're five and you have these big goals, you have these big dreams, and they may sound crazy to a 20-year-old, but Jack has given me back that. With Jack, I believe I can be an astronaut, I can be the president, I can even take Bill Gates' position. Because Jack has shown me that all my dreams and all my goals start with me. That there's nothing impossible for me to be. Jack has given me back everything that I've once had as a kid. It's giving me back hope, happiness. There was a time when everyone used to tell me, make sure you graduate, but make sure you graduate. Yet no one was telling me, how do I, do I graduate? How do I make it to the next step? But once I walked into a classroom that I known was there for three years for the first time, my junior year, I found everything I was looking for. My Jack teacher has helped me put down each yellow brick strongly into the ground with each of my dreams engraved in each brick. And as I take each step, I'm accomplishing things that I thought that I would never be able to do with Jack. There's no place like Jack. And I will always remember Jack. The talents of our young people have never ceased to amaze me. Let's have one more round of applause for our speaker. Our next event is our employability skills event. For JAG students in a JAG program, their ultimate challenge is their ability to walk out into the world and successfully compete for a job. Congratulations again to our individual event winners, and thank you to all of our employer partners, and a special thank you to Chase for your support of our student success. Our third place winner is Ashley Villegas. Our second place winner, Michelle Islas. And the first place winner in the Employability Skills Competition is Shania Hairston. Congratulations. The next event is the JAG Commercial Competition. These commercials put together by JAG students as a way to promote their JAG program and highlight their accomplishments as a team. And our winners are third place, Jagworks Tolleson, second place, Westview High School, and first place, Paradise Valley High School. This event, supported by our partners at AT&T, celebrates the many hands-on activities and projects that JAG students complete to practice and master key workplace skills. And now, our project-based learning winners are, third place goes to La Jolla High School, second place goes to Paradise Valley High School, and first place, Sierra Linda High School. Congratulations! JAG recognizes that serving our community plays a vital role in developing our culture of caring, service to others, and social responsibility. It's through service that we grow by committing so much to something larger than ourselves and become aware about the world around us. We learn how to use our talents and skills as we move forward with a career. This year, in addition to recognizing serving through JAG Career Association, we're starting with a special recognition of two JAG students who went above and beyond serving their community through their individual efforts. It is my pleasure to recognize our independent service champion from Tempe High School, Guadalupe Hernandez with 788 hours, and Giselle Rodea Gomez with 712 hours to recognize two extraordinary JAG programs and two very impressive individuals for their community service contributions to their JAG Career Association. This year, in third place, we have Westview High School with a total of 2,142 hours. That's an average of 52 hours per student. Now in second place, and now in second place, we have Tempe High School with a total of 2,270 hours, with an average of 61 hours per student. And the 2020 service champion with a total of 2,975 hours, with an average of 74 hours per student is... Oh wait! Paradise Valley High School! 
In addition to recognizing an outstanding JAG program for their contributions, each year JAG recognizes one outstanding JAG student for their personal investment in the community this year. This individual is rewarded for their leadership in service. And this year, third place we have Breno Venetos of Compadre Academy with a total of 167 hours of service. In second place, we have Angelique Neandagaya of Paradise Valley High School with a total of 332 hours of service. And the individual community service champion, Haley Rodriguez of Paradise Valley High School with a total of 377 hours of service. Congratulations, and thank you all again for the time you've invested in your communities. Your commitment to making a difference is invaluable. We've now made it to our final award for the 2020 Career Development Conference, our Academic Achievement Awards. JAG works closely with students throughout the year to make improvements across all academic areas, not just within the JAG class. This year, we're excited to recognize a set of JAG programs and individuals who have made significant improvements in the grades, attendance, and credit earnings. First, in GPA improvement for traditional JAG programs, with the highest percentage of students improving grade point averages at the mid-year, runner-up, Paradise Valley High School with 92% of students improving their GPAs. Winner is Peoria High School with 95% of the students improving their GPAs. For our avant-garde programs, with the highest percentage of students improving grade point averages at the mid-year, the runner-up, Hope High School with 92% of students improving their GPA. And the winner, Ombudsman Charter Valencia, with 94% of the students improving the GPA. In attendance improvement for traditional JAG programs, with the highest percentage of students improving attendance at the mid-year, the runner-up, Coronado High School, with 76% of students improving their attendance. And the winner, oh, here we go, La Jolla Community High School, with 80% of the students improving attendance. For Advent Guard programs with the highest percentage of students improving attendance at the mid-year, our runner-up is Yaki High School with 56% of students improving attendance. And our winner, wait for it, Ombudsman Charter Valencia with 53% of students improving attendance. And last but not least, for earning all credits attempted for traditional JAG programs with the highest percentage of students earning all credits, the runner-up is La Jolla Community High School with 93% of students earning all credits. And the winner, here we go, Sunrise Mountain High School with 100% of the students earning all credits. For avant-garde programs with the highest percentage of students earning all credits, the runner-up, Compadre Academy with 55% of the students earning all credits. And the winner, oh, with the tie. Ombudsman Charter, Valencia, and Yaki High School with 100% of students earning all credits attempted. We'd also like to take a minute to acknowledge some of the individual students who demonstrated significant improvement in their academics this year through hard work and dedication. From our traditional programs, please join me in, in recognizing Andrea Hurtado, Sierra Linda High School, and Alaya Stevenson, Copper Canyon High School. Join me in recognizing Abony Vasquez from Hope High School and Paulino de Pingaling, Ombudsman Charter Metro. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for attending the 2020 JAG Career Development Conference.